have fallen in love with a fictional character. It was actually, it was Edward in Twilight. We're gonna play a fun little game of never have I ever. This is dangerous. <laughs> it's gonna be safe, I promise. Okay. Okay. Never have I ever eaten a bug. I have. <laughs> you know those little lollipops that have like scorpions in them? Sure. I've been, like, I have like, actually seen them. Yeah. What kind of bug? What was the situation? I ate worms when I was a little kid, ants. Um, protein. Hey. Crickets. I mean, where do you think these mussels come from, yeah, guys? Man. Come on, worms. Go in the backyard and dig up some worms. I've eaten live termites in a rainforest before. On purpose? On purpose. Good source of protein. What sort of delicacy was it? I believe it was a worm. Wow. Yeah. You're the second person to say that yeah. today. Well, there you go. And, and I'm original. <laughs> A witchetty grub? It's a Australian grub. It's a little white grub and they and yeah, they eat them in Australia. Tasty? Pretty good? Not bad. Not bad. Never have I ever nerded out while meeting a famous actor or actress I love. Oh my god, yes. Who? It was someone from American Horror Story. Big oh fan. my god. Big fan. I love American Horror Story and at that point I just didn't even care about fangirling. I was like, I don't even care because I need you to know how much I love you. Never. Never. You keep it together. Never. Too much so, yeah. I need to nerd out one day. Who would you nerd Denzel. out over? Denzel. You don't even need to finish that question. Denz Denzel. Denzel Washington. Who was the person? Diane Keaton. Um, Angelina Jolie at the Kids' Choice Awards. She sat in front of me and my friend Debbie, and we were just sitting there, like, just in awe of the back of her head. <laughs> and her kids were there, and they her probably kids were loved there. you guys. Yeah, we took pictures with our kids, and she was like, Do you mind? And I was like, Absolutely not. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, cool. Angie. Excuse sorry, me. I'm very busy, Angie. Never have I ever walked into a glass door. I have, I've been, I'm lucky to say I've never done that. Almost. Knock Almost. on wood. Knock on wood. I'm going to do it today. <laughs> I haven't used this never yet. <laughs> I totally have. Painful. I push when it says pull, like all of that. Never have I ever fallen in love with a fictional character. Maybe a cartoon, a book character. Nala from The Lion King. I'm pretty sure. She is so beautiful. She <laughs> was, but she still is because she still exists. But she's, you know, female. She's a lioness and they're real. I have, yes, I have. I have fallen in love with a fictional character. It was, um, it was, it was actually, it was Edward in Twilight when I was like, no, those yes, books, girl. I'm sorry, no, those books came out when I was like 13. <laughs> I was at the age, but it's fine, I moved past it. I've moved beyond it. You're I have now much more, more sophisticated taste in, in fictional characters. You're Team now. Jacob now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Meg from Hercules. Always thought oh, she was cute. Good choice. Definitely. Prince Eric. Never have I ever dropped my phone in the toilet. It's the worst. You gotta go to the Apple store or whatever. But you just get rice. You put it in rice. Does that work? No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I haven't, but my phone is currently smashed and has pieces like literally falling out of it. And all my friends are like, why have you not replaced it? And I don't need to because it still works. No, nope, never have. I've, I've dropped it in a puddle though, which is equally as frustrating. That I have never done. <laughs> Yay, we but got now one. that I'm saying never, knock never on, never knock, on wood. Knock, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Wow, you're gonna get a high five for that. How about that? Up top, that's impressive. Never have I ever cried while watching The Fosters. I did the other night. <laughs> <laughs> On Monday night with the Donald, the Donald storyline oh. gets me every time. And it's so dumb because I'm always there for it. And like in between takes, I'm like getting coffee and like running around. Um, but it's, I don't know, I have a soft spot for that character. It makes me cry every time. And if you guys want some major spoilers on the Foster season three, click to the left to see my interview with the entire cast or click to the right to get some 411 on Teen Beach Movie 2.